hello everyone and welcome back to my channel dear friends hope you are all doing well so finally after a long time i am starting the solving model question papers of mathematics uh, third semester for csc stream students i don't know literally uh, where i have stopped at that time just because i was very busy with the making passing packages for you people okay so as it uh, this paper was postponed earlier that is why i stopped over there okay now i am again starting so today i will discuss uh, the model fourth number seven e an unknown distribution has a mean of 90 and a standard deviation of 15 samples of size n is equal to 25 are drawn randomly from the population okay find the probability that the samples mean is between 85 and 92 so wherever you will find the unknown distribution so make sure you will understand that this question is on the uh, is uh, based on the central limit theorem okay so what does the central limit theorem you might be knowing that uh, that the sample mean x bar which we later on use in the formula so at, it follows approximately the normal distribution curve okay nothing more than that so whatever the formula i am using here only one formula is there so you should know the statement of the central limit theorem only over here okay that means x bar follows approximately the normal distribution with mean and standard deviation sigma upon sorry sigma upon root n this is called as standard error okay this is called as standard error okay so this uh, we use in the formula so what is the formula z is equal to x bar minus mu upon this standard error that is sigma upon root and right so now you can write down the given data so what is the given data it is mentioned in the question that mean of 90 that is mu is equal to 90 and standard deviation means sigma it is also called as variance of population so sigma is equal to 15 and sample size is 25 so n is equal to 25 so all the values are here so now you need to put these values in the particular equation that is z is equal to x bar minus mu what is the mu value 90 right then sigma sigma value is 15 upon root of n that is sample size it is given by 25 okay i hope you are getting this so z is equal to x bar minus 90 divided by 15 upon root 25 when you just calculate this in the calc you will get 3 value right so let me show you over here that is your 15 upon root 25 which is equal to 3 right so this is your value now what we are supposed to calculate the probability uh, that the sample mean is between 85 and 92 so if i will show you the normal distribution curve is like that okay so sorry like this this one okay so first value is suppose 85 is here suppose here is 90 here is your 90 sorry 92 this is the shaded area which represents the probability between 18 85 and 92 it is represented as 85 less than x bar sorry x bar greater than 85 less than 92 okay this is your probability between 85 and 92 this you have to calculate so first i will take at x bar is equal to 85 right so i will just put it in this equation over here so that is your z is equal to x bar i have to put 85 first minus 90 upon 3 which is equal to so i will calculate this one this is your 80, 85 minus 90 divided by 3 which is equal to 1.66 minus 1.66 right then at x is sorry x bar is equal to 92 so z value is 85 sorry 92 minus this one i am putting this value in this particular equation so x bar is 92 so 92 minus 90 divided by 3 so this will be 92 minus 90 is 2 by 3 okay so 2 upon 3 which is equal to 0 0.66 right 0. 6, 6. <clears throat> now i am supposed to calculate the probability so probability of 85 less than x bar less than 92 it is given by probability of see here <clears throat> what is the value of 85 at x bar is equal to 85 minus 1.66 so minus 1.66 is less than z i am instead of x bar i am taking z just because i have to check it in the normal distribution table where z is over there okay so z and less than and z is less than 0 0.66 0 0.66 so this is the interface now i will show you the values of these particular uh, what we call as values in the normal distribution table okay 
so dear friends you can see here uh, i don't have a hard copy of this uh, particular sheet that is why i'm showing you uh, in the screen itself okay so this is your 1.6 and you can uh, see the column wise 0 0.06 intercept okay that becomes your 1.66 okay so at 1.66 it is 0 0.4515 right then <laughs> next value is uh, z is less than 0 0.66 that is 0 0.6 and the intercept gap is 0 0.06 so i am taking here the value that is 0 0.2454 okay that is it so i hope you have understood how to calculate these values in the normal distribution table now i can write down the values over here so this value is already how much 0 0.4515 okay plus 0 0.2454 okay so now i can write probability of minus 1.66 less than z less than 0 0.66 which is equal to uh, add this one okay so 0 0.4515 plus 24 sorry 0 0.2454 which is equal to 0 0.6969 okay this is the probability of uh, sorry probability that the samples mean is between 85 and 92 so this is all about this particular problem so these are very simpler ones my dear friends only a need uh, only thing is you should remember this formula okay that is it so i hope you have understood this uh, problem very well over there so my dear friends make sure you will share this video to all your friends who actually need it and thanks for watching my video